So welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Forrest Dell. I play guitar and I sing. <laughs> I play a lot of other instruments as well. Um, on this channel, I usually do acoustic songs, covers, and originals. Um, and for my live setup, I have a looper pedal and I'll make the beat live. So today I'm gonna take you through all my pedals and how I use each one. So I'm kind of new to guitar pedals. Um, I've been playing guitar forever, but I, I've only had pedals for about two years, maybe a little less than two years. So I started off with just the looper pedal, but now it evolved into, into six different pedals. And I think this is enough. I don't need any more pedals. Uh, one of them I don't even use that much. But anyways, let's get straight to it. I'm gonna show you all of my pedals first. All right, so here it is my beautiful guitar pedals uh, i'm gonna start from the right to the left and we're just gonna work our way around it so this is the tuner pedal probably my favorite just because i switch guitars sometimes if i'm playing electric guitar most of the time i'll switch over to an acoustic and not only does it tune it but cuts the signal off you know so classic tuner pedal turn that signal back off compression pedal this is my newest one um i obviously use a lot of compression when i'm producing but I never really thought about it with my guitar until somebody suggested like, hey, you should get a compression. And I was like, well, is that gonna help me? You know, I'm, I'm very minimalistic when it comes to pedals, but this thing is amazing. It just gives me a full sound. So this one is kind of hard to explain, but basically it uh, rounds out my sound and turns the volume up a little bit. Like, it makes for a more a fuller sound. So this is just kind of like a very subtle pedal, but the way I have it set up right now, it just enhances it so much and it's amazing. Um, this is the distortion pedal. As you can see the theme, I got a ton of boss uh, pedals. That's the brand that I like the most. But DS1, uh, this pedal is really cool. I heard Kurt Cobain use this one if I'm not uh, mistaken. But it's classic distortion, sounds awesome. Um, this is the octave pedal. This allows me to not have to switch to a bass in like mid show. So I, I hit the pedal and it just turns everything down an octave, right? So on my guitar, it basically just sounds like I'm playing the bass. So that one's clutch. It's probably my, one of my favorites. Um, well, actually this one is second because this reverb pedal right here is my favorite. The Ocean's 11, this pedal is so cool. I'll go through the sounds of it. Um, a bunch of reverb effects. I just absolutely love it. it. It just has the perfect vibe for the music that I make. So that's one of my favorites. And then, oh my God, I guess they're all my favorites. This is the looper pedal. <laughs> so this is the Boss RC 500, two tracks. So I can record, I usually on the red channel record uh, drums and beatbox and everything. And then on the blue channel, I'll uh, record, you know, the guitar, the bass and everything. So then I can switch it off. I can cut the drums out, you know, put them back on. So this is a really cool pedal. Um, allows me to really just it, it just creates a great vibe for my live shows. Oh yeah, one more thing. I got this looper pedal for a couple reasons, but the main one, it's got an XLR input, right? So I get to use my dynamic mic. And basically that dynamic mic is used to uh, a beatbox and I make the beat live. So it's really cool to be able to do sounds like that. And obviously vocals too, like I can loop vocals um, in my looper pedal. So that adds to it. The only thing with that is I need a second microphone, right? So if I'm using this microphone to do the beatboxing, then it's like I need a, another microphone to sing. What's up y'all? So I'm about to play a loop real quick for you and show you kind of how everything works when I'm at a live set. Thank you. 
a different mic set up. The second one, I forgot to bring it towards me. But basically, I would have a second mic to where I'm singing fully from that second mic. And this one is only for my uh, for beatboxing. But that's basically it. Let me know if y'all want to hear about more. Um, if you want to hear about my production on my YouTube videos or anything else, that's a totally separate um, setup. But these are all the pedals that I use. I don't plan on getting any more. And yeah, that's it. Appreciate y'all.